Hello from HB Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to be doing some benchmarks on a T-Mobile HD2 running a, another gingerbread ROM. This one is uh, Nexus HD uh, gingerbread version 2.4. It's a NAND ROM that's clockwork flashable, which I like. It comes with an overclock kernel, but the, it can only be overclocked to 1.19. I'm going to turn it all the way up for this test. Uh, I'm running different uh, profiles on it and set CPU and I'm getting really good battery life out of it and the speed's not horrible. So first I'm going to run some actual benchmarks then I'm going to run some graphical benchmarks so if you're not interested in the graphics benchmarks because they're pretty much the same throughout all the different ROMs on this phone you can you know turn the video off then but let's get the most of them or the most common out of the way first let's get quadrant and uh, I'm gonna install an overclock another overclock kernel on this phone later and that'll let me overclock up to 1.5 and I'll do some more benchmarks but I wanted to give the ROM a good walkthrough just the way it's packaged and I have and I'm gonna be making a walkthrough video of it and it's very nice I mean it's a nice ROM it's right up there with the GPC's gingerbread 2.3 version 1.7 which I really liked which I will still probably go back to just because I liked it as it was but uh, th this is also a very good one that's still in production they're still working on it still improving it uh, Nexus HD Froyo is what I used on this for a long time I used it from the time that there were just uh, running at 1181 so a little under the Droid X with 2.2 and the Nexus one with 2.2. I've seen it slightly higher than that, but not much. That's about baseline for this. But as I was saying, um, I've been using this ROM since it was, you know, SD card running on top of Windows Mobile. So from SD builds, I used the Froyo when it got to the NAND builds, and now the Gingerbread build. Let's run some Limpacks here. 40.854 42 42.022 41.812 So not bad on the land pack. It'll get a little better when I overclock it more. <laughs> Let's kill some things. And then we'll run Smart Bench. This one takes the longest. And the results on this one vary so much because uh, this is Smart Bench 2011. Uh, 2010 is what I used to run if you watch some of my older videos this is 2011 and it has a uh, different guidelines for benchmark so the scores may look lower than the original but it's because they changed the way they judge the scores uh, whenever they get that settled out I think this will be a very good benchmark program I, I like it so I'll continue to use it but I hope they decide on the way they want to judge these because uh, I don't like the fact that they changed around. Uh, actually runs pretty good graphically even though it's only clocked to 1.12 but uh, we'll see what it does when I get it up to 1.5. I just wanted to get this video out here for people who aren't okay with flashing overclock kernels or don't want to overclock their phone. This is a very mild overclock just slightly over what the stock processor is clocked at uh, like I said, I've been running set CPU profiles. I've got excellent battery life out of this. Um, so far, no problems with the ROM. Nothing I can really complain about. Submitting. Let's display scores. I got decent scores on here last night. Yeah. 11 or 11.44 for the productivity index and game index. 891, of course, because it's running on a very old Adreno graphics processor. So that's that. Now let's get into some of the uh, graphical. Let's go first with FPS 2D. Should run average of 57, I'd say. See a lot of drop off in this one though. All right, that surprised me. I haven't actually ran this on it yet. So that I did not notice that. Let's see what we come out with. 56. So, not bad, but not the greatest, but that is a lot of drop-off right there. Uh, it's the first time I've actually ran that. 
Uh, let's see. Now we're on Nina Mark, which is a pretty good GPU benchmark. Twenty one point five, definitely not the best I've seen on this phone. Not the worst though. I've seen lower. Um, best run was thirty seven. I imported this from my other phone, so ignore that. I <laughs> I used titanium to bring it in because I wanted this phone to match my G two. So that thirty four was not on this phone. Uh, and last, we're gonna run Neocore. If you see a speed test right here, if you're not familiar with it, it actually tests your connection speed, and I'm running this on Wi-Fi, so there's no use of running that. Uh, I haven't actually ran a data connection speed on this phone, but uh, uh, it usually runs in the four or five range. It's actually really good. We don't have HSPA Plus here, and now with the T-Mobile buyout, I'm not sure we ever will. <laughs> but uh, this is NeoCore. It's Qualcomm's own Adreno GPU uh, benchmark program. Sorry. For some reason, there's always an offset on the screen on this one. So, benchmark. So, like I said, it's their own Adreno GPU benchmark program. So, you got to kind of take this one for what you will. Of course, they're going to be nice to their own software. <laughs> I mean, their own hardware, excuse me. Thirty-one point seven. That's actually pretty good. That's frames per second, of course. So, just want to get some quick benchmarks in. I'm gonna keep a lookout. I'm gonna do a uh, overview of this ROM, just some information about it, and tell everybody how everything works on it. Uh, and then I'm also gonna do another overclock benchmark video with it overclocked to one point five, and see how that runs on this ROM. So, keep an eye out for those. And thanks for watching.